Lenin makes peace with the Germans, but now a genuine civil war breaks out in Russia. The white Russians rebel against the Reds' peace effort. Allied troops fight to keep Russia in the war. Cossacks fight for both sides. Tsarists rise up to restore the monarchy. The Tsar and his family are executed. And the Cheka, first of many Soviet secret police groups, becomes active. Arrest without charge, imprisonment or exile without trial, disappearance without explanation, all become routine. But Lenin complains. There is still too little ruthlessness. Not because we lack determination, but because we do not know how to capture enough profiteers, marauders, capitalists. The signposts along the road read, peace, freedom, and bread. Because they understood that freedom and bread could be theirs only when peace was obtained, the workers and sailors of Kronstadt have fought a bloody civil war. Now on March 7, 1921, they mill in the streets, asking for freedom and bread. Finally, at 6.45 in the evening, Trotsky, commander of the Red Army, who ordered the slaughter, gives the only explanation. It was necessary. 